This is Bill Bragman with Yak Gear and want to go over with you all the different leashes that we make. Not only how to attach them to a paddle or a fishing pole, but also how to attach them to your kayak, canoe, paddle board. Leashes are always important. Leashes make sure that everything you leave with comes back with you from your paddle trip. All right, I wanted to show you how to use all the different leashes that Yak Gear offers. And I've broken the paddle open a little bit just so you'll know that this is the middle. And you always want to secure your leash right into the middle of the paddle. That gives you the most range of motion. This is the basic paddle leash, has a little Velcro strap and very simply just snug it down and, and lock it in place. We've had customers mention that they don't like using the Velcro. Well, the nice thing about the leash is the fact that all you need to do is open your paddle and slide the loop end onto your paddle. and close it up again. As far as securing your leash to your kayak, there's a couple of different methods. With the basic paddle leash, it comes with a carabiner, so you can easily attach it to any pad eye. You can actually go to a seat strap. You can go to your handle and just easily lock it in place. We've also made all of our leashes so that if you lose your carabiner by chance, you can always take the loop end and then put the Velcro side or the side that you would attach to your paddle and wrap it around a handle and a pad eye or against your seat strap once again. A very popular leash that we offer is our coiled paddle leash. This comes with a Velcro strap, and once again, I'm putting it around the middle. Our coil paddle leash has a 360 swivel hook. Easily attaches and stops your bun or stops the coil from twining. One other thing too about our coil paddle leash is the fact that there is no wire inside, similar to like the telephone cord on your desk or at home. So if, when you pull this, the wire, if there was wire inside, would stretch and would never let you come back to the original shape. We've designed this to be a solid rubber coil. So you can pull this leash out to about 70 inches and let it snap right back in place. This is our brand new Baja leash. Uh, our Baja leash comes in two lengths, the 36 inch or the 48 inch. This is the 48 inch length. To secure it to your kayak or canoe, very easily use the large end of the bungee and slip your attachment point right through, lock it in place, and then open up the Velcro strap and place it around the middle of your paddle. The last leash that I want to show you is our fishing pole leash. And our fishing pole leash comes with a carabiner and it easily attaches to a pad eye, once again, or the handle or a seat strap, however you want to attach it. And it has Velcro at the very end, like a lot of our other leashes do. And all you're gonna do is put it right around, just below, where the reel attaches to your rod. <clears throat> Now our fishing pole leash is actually double braided for a little extra strength. We do have customers who like to troll. But it's always important that whatever you take out on your kayak or your canoe, just in case you turn over, that everything is leashed down.